Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ray with Follow My Lead Dog Training, your dog trainer. Welcome to another episode of Introducing Your Dog to Baby. So if you guys have been following the episodes, we got the welcome episode out, we got the first episode, and now we're on episode two, okay? So we're going to touch on um, <clears throat> preparing your dog for the baby. So it's just some things that you can do to prepare. You know, like I always talk about uh, in my class, you don't just have to cross your fingers with this. You can prepare, all right, and get some things uh, in a routine so when the baby arrives, you have a better management in place between dog and baby. All right, sound good? So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, subscribe to the page make sure you uh, like make sure you comment with a question um, if you have a question regarding dog and baby please comment below I'll be answering those on the following episode um, and then we're just gonna rock and roll from there so let's talk preparation guys getting prepared okay so let's think about some things we can do to get prepared first um, and I may have touched on this a bit in episode one. Wherever your, your baby is going to sleep, okay, wherever the baby's going to be sleeping, whether that's in the room with you, uh, in a bassinet, or in a separate room, <clears throat> and if you have the option to have a room set up, great. That's fantastic. Do that. What I want you to do is make sure the dog does not go into that room. Okay, so from this day out, once you heard this message from Ray, your dog trainer, you don't let that dog go into the baby's room. Okay? Now, if you have some behaviors like the dog sleeping in your bed, now, now's the time to stop that. Okay? One of the things I want you guys to keep in mind when I'm talking through um, these best practices and things that you should be doing. If your dog is not off leash trained, when I'm talking about what you can be going through and doing um, during the program and in introducing your dog to baby, it's really um, about having your dog on a leash. Okay, so the time that you're practicing this and you're you're you're, you're trying um, to to get your dog off the bed. You're trying to get your dog off the off the couch. Your dog should have a training tool on, supervised with you in a leash. Okay? Short leash or long leash, but you should have access to a leash. Okay? So put a baby gate up, stop the dog from getting into that room. Okay? And if they're on the bed, they gotta get the boot. It's okay. It's all right. The dog does not have to sleep in your bed. Trust me. Um one of the one of the biggest things that I want you guys to make sure that your your dog has down is obedience training. So in this preparation, if your dog is not obedience trained, really you shouldn't bring dog and baby together. I mean that's just what it is. If your dog hasn't been through obedience training, they know how to sit, sit stay. They know how to down stay. Um, they know how to come when called. Um, they know how to walk nicely on the leash. If your dog can't do those things, you shouldn't bring it around the baby. That's just my recommendation. Your dog should know how to do those things very well, and they should know how to do it without a treat. Just when you say. You want to make this communication process um, when the baby arrives seamless, right? You should be able to do this without a lot of hoop and hollering, repeating commands a thousand times. You want this to be seamless. You want to be able to have a have an energy that's assertive, right? That's calm. Because the last thing you want to be doing, right, in the middle of you, you're trying to rock your baby to sleep, your dog's doing something that they shouldn't be doing, right? Um, and now you have to repeat commands seven, seven times. You have to yell across the room to get your dog's attention because your dog's not responding to you. That's because the obedience is not in place. 
So get the obedience training in place. So you're going to have a baby that's waking up all the time while you're screaming at your dog, right? Which is just crazy. So I tell you, get the obedience down pat start today look at some of my videos sit down and start working with your dog right and make sure your dog knows how to do these commands right very well okay and they could do it without a cookie okay all right so that's preparation uh number two the other thing i want you to do this is kind of a fun thing you could do is get um go on to youtube I'll try to put a link in, 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 inside, and you're gonna um, inside the description. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get um, baby crying noises on YouTube, and you're just gonna play those. Put them in the room. Um, put them in a bassinet if you have one, or one of those um, rocker swingers if you already have some of that stuff prepared in the house. Put it in there and see how your dog responds. Figure out where your dog's mindset is. Right? I talked about uh, knowing your dog. A little bit um, in episode uh, one so you know knowing your dog kind of how they're gonna respond to a baby crying right are they gonna bark are they gonna howl are they gonna run and hide are they gonna act aggressive right this is a way for you to now put that into play and see how it's gonna work and you can start to either encourage behaviors right or you could start to work on those behaviors that are unwanted, okay? But be prepared. So go through that. Get those sounds out. Get the baby crying. It might help you, too. Get used to it. Don't forget, you're going to be missing a little bit of sleep here. So with these best practices, it's really about keeping everything in flow, keeping everything in, 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 in a good routine. Because without that, it could be very frustrating. Could be very frustrating, and if you don't have a good routine, if you don't have a dog that's listening, um, going into it, it could become very frustrating, you know. And and people make decisions of giving their dog up because their dog is barking too much, the dog jumps too much, um, they're doing all these things, and then you bring a baby into that mix before you even fix those things. It's not really fair to the dog. You know, so um, think about how important having a baby around and, and understanding that this is an animal. You bring it into the you bring it into your house, you bring a dog into the house and and they're, they're awesome family pets. We give them a name. Right. We attach all that to them. But at the end of the day, they're still animals and the way that they do things are very different from us so we're teaching them and if you don't take the time out to teach them what you expect around your baby if you don't take the time to teach them what you expect around your baby all I can do is pause okay you're here you you want to prepare you're listening to introducing dog to baby guys if you're coming into this don't forget to subscribe to the page like share this right people should be hearing about this people should be getting the help that they need people should be getting tips that they need about introducing dog to baby or how it is to have a child um, around with baby okay so we got some more to cover so uh, the other thing I want you to do is <clears throat> get your stroller out okay if you if you're at the point where you're getting some things and you have a stroller or you can get a stroller uh, from a friend or family member, bring the stroller into the house. I want you to see how your dog is responding to the stroller, move it around the house. See how is your dog attacking the stroller? Is your dog nervous of the stroller? I want you to be able because this is a good relationship builder um, between dog and baby. And again, your dog should already be obedience trained, so they should know how to walk nicely. So once you got that first initial step of the baby stroller out the way, I want you to get the dog in the empty stroller, no baby in it or anything. And I have a video on this, um, how to walk baby um, with stroller, how to walk dog with stroller. Check that out on my channel. Um, but you should be able, this is one of the relationship building exercise that you should be able to do well. Walk your dog 
at the same time you're walking your baby to help them relax and 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 get to sleep you're helping the dog relax you're also showing um your baby even at a young age that when they're around the dog this is a a calming fashion a walk is in a calm fashion there's not a lot of hoopla going on right so you're showing your dog how they should be acting um, around this this animal that this is what the, it's new to them right and we're we're teaching them this is an animal and this is a dog that we're including in our household and their name is so and so right so um you're going to teach them how to calmly interact and walking is one of those so i want you to be able to do this well with the stroller and if you practice and you, if your dog is already walking nicely at a heel then this exercise would be something that you would do all the time and it will help build a relationship. When I see people walking down the street with their with their stroller and the dog is walking nicely, I, I seriously, I want to stop and give them a high five because they don't know, and they may know how, how well um, they're building that relationship between dog and baby. Remember, everything that I'm talking about is about respect, guys. It's about building respect and then love will follow. It always does. So, so that's that's where we're that's what we're what we're talking about here. So keep that in mind when we're talking about these things. So you got some preparation work to do. Get those things down. Let's recap them, right? So you got um, getting the baby gate, not allowing the dog inside the room. If they're on the the bed right now, they got to come off. Okay, they got to come off. And this is where uh, teaching them the place command is important. Right, and if you haven't seen, check out my video intro to place. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos on the place command to really kind of dig a little bit deeper, so you guys fu fully understand what that um, is like for your dog. But you want to eliminate the the dog um, going into the rooms in the bed. Get the no get the baby crying sounds out. That's going to be a, a helpful one. Okay, get the baby stroller out, and then make sure that your dog is obedience trained. If your dog is not obedience trained, get with a trainer locally. Watch some of my videos and stop training the dog. Okay? Whatever you have to do, get those dogs trained before you bring that baby home. Okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to mention with the stroller really quick here is if you're using a retractable leash, no more retractable leashes. You want, I want you using a six-foot leather or nylon leash with a training collar. Okay, no retractable leashes in any of these scenarios. Okay, not in these scenarios. All right. So guys, thank you for joining episode two. Is that four or two? That's two. Thanks for joining episode two. We got more to come. I'm gonna be doing um, these every other week because my obligation. Um, to uh, my class that I teach, it kind of gets in the way. So I'm going to, I'm going to do these every other week. So I'll still be posting videos weekly, but for this introduction to uh, dog and baby, well, you'll see that post every other week. So you get some time to digest, get some time to share, comment, get some time to invite friends to the channel to do the same. And we will keep rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining. This is Ray with Follow My Lead Dog Training, your dog trainer. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You can find me on all our social media platforms at Follow My Lead K9. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.